Welcome back to our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. This is the Austrian Grand Prix. As per usual, we've got some stuff to do before we hit the circuit. For example, we've got two days on our activity timeline to go and fill up, and I think we're gonna keep investing into Mick Schumacher. We do actually have our contract period coming up very, very soon, so I don't know if we should be taking a look at another driver out there, maybe poaching somebody from another team. I'm not really sure, so let me know what you guys would do in the comments down below. I think, though, for the moment, I'm gonna keep going all in for Mick Schumacher, get the G-Force training up for the two days. We've got 3.3 mil to spend on our facilities. Now, I think I'm gonna go in and put some more money into the chassis department and actually give us some more resource points for every week. We've still got 1.3 mil left in the bank, so providing things go well today, we'll have plenty of money to go in and sign another driver. And last thing before we go and hit the circuit, R&D, we've got 1,400 resource points nearly to go and spend, and honestly, the stuff we've been doing has been working out like, we've got nearly one of the best engines in F1. Our chassis is like fairly middle of the ground, however, my downforce is lacking quite a bit. So I was thinking, why don't we come into here, upgrade the front wing, 600 resource points, that's very worth it. Now we've still got 760 resource points left, so why don't I go and reduce the drag as well? Makes me even faster in a straight line. We're going all in on the downforce department. Anyways, let's advance some time. The G-Force training is done, and we've arrived in Austria for our next Grand Prix. As per always, I'm gonna go and do the practice programs and I will rejoin with you guys for qualifying in a minute. I think my car just exploded. Apparently our engine didn't explode. Welcome to a very, very sunny Austria. I absolutely love this circuit. In the past, we've just had good race after good race here. You guys already know I love these short little circuits on the F1 calendar where you can just put in lap after lap and it's just, it's so quick, it's so fun. And honestly, I'm kind of okay at this circuit. The only place where I struggle is this corner. Sometimes the back end will get a little bit slidey and I'll step out on that one, but other than that, I'm usually okay around here. I will be honest, I have taken a look at the weather before we jumped into this qualifying, and I did notice that tomorrow the race is actually going to be a complete downpour, so basically that means we can just keep putting in lap after lap after lap, so we should be good to just keep banging in lap after lap and hopefully have a pretty good qualifying position. So far, P3, hopefully we can stay there. Yo, no way, I've not actually dropped too far down in the pack. That's kind of crazy, I'm currently P10. Like, the top guys are refusing to do any laps. Anyways, I, I, I guess we'll jump out on the circuit, do our next lap, and we will cross fingers that we can go even faster. Can we get into the top 10? I honestly don't know. I'm gonna give it my best shot though. Let's do this one, no talking, and nail it. Come on game, I'm green for right now. Get to the finish line. I had an amazing slipstream off of Danny Kvyat. I noticed my teammate also had qualified me during that lap. We hold P10. Amazing stuff for the NCP boys. The question is gonna be, where is Mick Schumacher? Mick Schumacher's up to P14, yes! Mercedes, Red Bull, Mercedes, Red Bull, and then Danny Rick picking up P5? GG, buddy, and yeah, 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 I'm not surprised. All right, let's go off to the race. So there it is, an absolute downpour for today's race. This is gonna be a super fun one. Anyways, as per usual, let's see if anybody's got some penalties. I'm really hoping we can maybe even advance a little bit more. Starting grid though, the top four guys holding their spots. Let's go podium for Albon. Can he actually do it? The, the Ferraris also lined up nicely and the McLarens. Okay, I'm starting on the right hand side of the grid. I wanna get to the outside as quickly as possible, see if I can go around the outside of people. Will that be possible? I have absolutely no idea. We'll see. Anyways, race strategy for today. Simple one pit stop, starting on the wets, jumping on more wets on lap 18. We'll have to see if we get any safety cars. 
that'll obviously play into when we stop and when we don't, things like that. So let's get ready to go. Lean revs, clutches in, rev it up. And away we go for the Austrian Grand Prix. We want minimal wheel spin. Very, very nice job getting off the line like an absolute rocket up the inside. Don't crash in, don't crash into Danny Rick. I'm up to P7, lads. P8, lads. Lando Norris is a quick boy in the monsoon. The Ferraris are gonna be kicking themselves for that. Well, okay, they're fast in a straight line. Break, 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 break. How did I just get past? Sorry, 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 Lando. Sorry, Lando. Lando Norris, can you please get out of the way, bud? Up the outside. Come on, leave him plenty of room. Do I have more grip out here? Do I have more grip? Wheel to wheel racing. Come on. Turn the battery off. I don't want to use the whole thing. Lay it on the brakes. Inside line. Come on. Watch out for the curbs. We got it. P7. P7. Watch out for, for scenario seven. And I think we'll be okay. Jeez, what a start though. P10 up to P7. What a brilliant start for the NCP boys, the boys in blue. Absolute class, lads. Anyways, at least I can see now. There's a bit of a gap between me and Danny Rick up in front of me, so I, I can actually see where I'm going. No longer like monsoon conditions for me. Now, obviously there's no DRS out here today because it's all raining and stuff. So I don't actually need to pull away from Lando Norris behind me. He, he can be within a second, it doesn't really matter. I mean, obviously there's still like slipstream and stuff. You can't ever avoid that. But I would like to close into Danny Rick if I can. 3.1 seconds is the gap to him. I genuinely don't know if we can catch up to him. So we'll see what we can do. We can always use a little bit of extra fuel if we want to. We've got our battery as well. So we'll see if we can close. He's already up to 3.5 seconds. Yeah, I don't think I'm catching up to Danny Rick today, boys. So, um, slight problem. Jeff just came over the radio and said that my battery, my ERS down in the bottom right-hand corner, it's a little bit broken. It was actually broken last race. It's still broken for this race. And if the problem gets worse, my car could actually end up breaking so much that we might need to retire the car. So, uh, yeah, this race has just gone from what would have been a fairly easy drive around this circuit to nurse the ERS and do not burn it up. I've just got to keep my throttle control going, get out of the corners as quickly as possible, and if I do all of that stuff right, I should be able to get away from Lando Norris, providing the car doesn't explode. Yo, no way, update, it is now lap 12 in this Grand Prix, and my DRS is just broken. I mean, fortunately, we don't need to use it in today's Grand Prix, but still, like, this car's falling apart, man. We've just been holding our gap, using up some of our extra revs and our extra fuel to pull away from Lando Norris. 2.2 seconds is the gap now, which is awesome. Yo, I don't know if my car's breaking down or getting slower, but uh, within the course of one lap, Lando Norris just caught up by a second. I'm not confident in this car anymore. You know, maybe it's my tire wear that's no good, like 56%, that's, that's not great. So maybe I do need to jump in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a big slide. No good whatsoever. Lando Norris has caught right the way up and is now battling with me. I'm gonna take the inside line though. No way am I gonna allow him to run on me like that. Not a chance, but my rear tires are just, they're burning up. There's there's nothing I can do about him right now. I'm gonna have to do the same thing again. Late on the brakes on Lando. Oh, too deep there. Lando's gonna go for a little switchback. There he goes. Do not let this man overtake me into the pit lane. No way. No way. This is a good little battle between Lando and I. Okay, and I've just decided to drift out of that corner. Okay, so we're gonna be jumping in. I don't think... Lando is, no, Lando is opting to stay out. So into the pits I go. I think I'm I'm one of very few who are jumping in. All right, let's see what we've got. I, God damn it. Every single time I manage to speed it into the pit lane because I'm simply not paying attention. Anyways, let's go. Let's have a good stop, boys. Make sure I get out in front of that fur. I think the fur I got held up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Complete, go now. Useless. 
useless team. We've just lost the position because of that. And Vettel is on intermediate compound tires. I think I may have just made the biggest mistake of my goddamn career. And now we've got Pierre Gasly behind. Fantastic. This race has gone from a very, very good one to a very, very not, not, not so good one. We're going past a bunch of people who have jumped it into the pit lane. Lando Norris is one of them who is absolutely miles ahead of us. The Ferrari did get in front of him as well, though. Oh, and Charles Leclerc and Pierre Gasly now are going to be battling between each other. Jeez, this race is insane. Lando Norris is already 3.7 seconds in front of me. That's ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? Wet tires versus intermediates. It's a bit of a joke now. I've just got to try to hold my position, but I, I don't think I'll be able to. This is silly. There goes Pierre Gasly who's now moved up to P9. I'm in P10, final points position right here. Oh man, for real? Why are you breaking in the middle of the corner? Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Oh, you don't say, Jeff. Coming on lap 21 for some intermediate tires. You absolute moron. What an absolute joke of a Grand Prix out here today. That was a massive drift, yellow flags. No way. No way. I may get very lucky. What just happened? Virtual Did I hit somebody? Car. Virtual safety Delta. car just saved. What happened? Why is there a safety car? <gasps> Charles Leclerc. Mick Schumacher is all the way back here. For some reason, Charles Leclerc is like driving on the grass. And then that's Esteban Ocon who flies up the outside. And our teammate and him are going wheel to wheel. They clip. He obviously can't hold that in the rain. Spins it, loses it, and he's backwards on the circuit. Charles Leclerc is literally sideways on the circuit. And he gets absolutely destroyed by, by Antonio Giovinazzi. Is that Charles Leclerc done? Charles Leclerc's just become ghosted in this game for some reason. Okay, that's legit. I, I, I guess thank you because at least I'm getting in under the virtual safety car, but like, god damn. God damn, for real. We could have done so much better. We rejoin the race in P18 behind Kimi Raikkonen. Fantastic, exactly what I wanted. Uh, safety, Vir virtual safety, car virtual safety car is ending, okay. There we go, return to normal rate. Wow, man just held me up so much there. He's running off the line, trying to make me not go round. Oh, these tires are a different world. I have miles of grip. Um, what the, what just happened again? This is Lance Stroll, and that's one of the alphas who's jumping into the pit lane, and, and Lance Stroll smashes into him, and Lance Stroll is sideways. Yellow flags out, and somehow, I, I totally overtook Kimi Raikkonen under a yellow flag. I should not be in this position right now, but thank you FIA for looking the other way. There's the other Alfa Romeo who's in the pit lane. This is ridiculous. There's still 13 laps left in this Grand Prix. I'm in P15. Do we think I could get in the points Max Verstappen with the fastest lap? If we get another like yellow flag or a safety car, it's possible. Yellow flag, okay, yellow man. flag. That's Grosjean behind. Grosjean's car has just went pop. Come on, throw a safety car. Safety car. Grosjean is out of the session. Safety car! Keep an eye on the Delta. Safety! We need to keep it positive. Virtual safety car? Safety car? What? Which one? Which one? Delta. Safety car! Yes, sir! Alright, regroup with the boys. We're, we're only gonna get like one or two laps not in this safety car to go past some people, so. Yeah, we're we're gonna need to push. No way. We actually caught up to the safety car. It is now lap 33 in this Grand Prix. That is mind blowing. I am gonna pounce on George Russell so hard right now. There's the green flag. Get out of the corner nicely. Don't use too much curb. Come on, pull him in 0.2 seconds, 0.3 seconds. Do I go for a dive bomb up the inside on George Russell? I've only got two laps. I'm sorry, buddy. 
I got places to be. We can't hang around. Yo, somebody else is going for one. That's Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll is getting lapped right now. What the? Lance, get out of the room. Out of the way. This is your second time doing this. That's Kimi Raikkonen, who's now looking up my inside. What the? Lance, you're actually a spoon. This is the second time he's done this, and he's ruining people's races. Out of the... I'm gonna put this man so far into a wall. It's not even funny. Kevin Magnuson is also doing it and getting blue flagged. What is happening out here? Kevin, shoo, shoo, out, go away, out of the Grand Prix. Okay, there's a bunch of battles going on up in front. I'm in P14, Mick is in P12. I've got two laps to go. We are gonna need to absolutely fly. People are all over the place. That's Esteban Ocon, straight into the wall. Nicholas Latifi, also being a backmarker. Esteban Ocon just lost the car all by himself. So Esteban Ocon is behind. Our teammate goes to the inside and Ocon just panics and puts the car into the wall. No way. So that's Esteban Ocon. Now out of this Grand Prix. Oh, and I've got somebody coming up my inside. Buddy, if you could not do that, as I'm overtaking a guy who's literally just wrecked himself out of the Grand Prix, that would be great. Up to P13. We are bearing down on our teammate, Mick Schumacher. Can we get him? And Valtteri Bottas is your race winner. GG, buddy. Antonio Giovanazzi also letting us go past or not let actually letting us go past thank you Gio for that one he's actually not gonna let me even win the race to the line are you having a laugh today what a joke of a Grand Prix so Jeff screwed us over with our strategy we are the only person who went for a two pit stop strategy there for sure anyways GG to Mr. Valtteri Bottas it is a one two for the Mercedes boys, followed up by Verstappen. That's Alex Albon. What? When I saw the Red Bull suit, I'm like, oh, Verstappen's got to have that one. But no, Alex Albon taking down Max Verstappen. What a race from him. And Danny Rick just getting business done, finishing up in P5. In terms of the standings, nothing's changing up at the top. Alex Albon is actually closing into Verstappen by quite a lot now. We unfortunately dropped down to P12 because Jeff's a moron. Constructors wise, absolutely nothing is changing. After all of that, we are leveling up to level 10 as a team, which means we get to sign another sponsor and we will get even more money rolling into the squad thank you sponsors for the support oh man and would you look at this we've got to go into contract negotiations with mick schumacher i'm just gonna say i think we're gonna get him pretty cheap he's only got one point so mick prepare to pay me buddy that is what we're gonna be doing next episode though thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed subscribe for more and i'll see you guys then thanks for watching See you next time. Bye.